Good morning and good afternoon. This is Gina Tragos from ArcServe, and on behalf of our presenters, I would like to welcome you to this special webcast. This marks the launch of the new ArcServe Unified Data Protection Appliance 7000 series, and we're thrilled that you're here with us today. Presenting on this webcast will be Christoph Bertrand, the Vice President of Product Marketing, with a special guest, Ian Richardson, the founder and CEO of Doberman Technologies, an MSP partner of ArcServe. I would like to point out a few features we have on this webcast that you can utilize. First, if you have any questions for our presenters today, you can submit them through the questions tab located at the top of your screen at any time during this webcast. We will do our best to answer these questions during the next hour, but if we don't get to yours, we'll be sure to get back to you with answers after the presentation is complete. So please don't be shy and ask any questions you have. We also ask that you rate this presentation at the end and leave any feedback that you think necessary. You can rate by clicking the rate button also located at the top of your screen. Lastly, the slides present, presented on this webcast will be available on the ArcServe slide share channel immediately following the webcast. Okay, at this time, I would like to turn the presentation over to Christoph Bertrand. Take it away, Christoph. Thank you, Gina. Hello, everyone. It's a real pleasure, a real honor to have you on the call today. We have uh, quite uh, an announcement for you. I'm sure you've seen some of the news and some of the press coverage already, but we are very proud to announce the uh, ArcServe Unified Data Protection Appliance. Uh, this is a uh, great new solution that uh, we're going to give you a lot of details about. And more importantly, uh, joining me today, a little later in this presentation, uh, is a very special guest who has tried the product, has played with it, uh, can give you a lot of feedback, and has a ton of experience. So uh, just stay tuned for uh, our partner, Government Technologies, to give us uh, a little more detail uh, as um, uh, in terms of how they've uh, been able to do some, some pretty interesting things with this appliance. First of all, uh, you know, I, I want to say this is really more than just an evolution of of what you can expect from a traditional uh, purpose-built backup appliance. What we, what we have here is a true revolution, and, and you'll see why in the next few slides. Uh, a ton of technology, we're running the UDP technology on this appliance, and we've created a solution that is not only easy to use and simple to deploy, but extremely comprehensive in terms of feature functions and, and very, very efficient because of the technologies that uh, we bring to the table. Uh, so we'll give you some details on the models, the pricing, and, and the features, uh, feature set. So specifically, I want to talk to you about the market, what we're seeing, why we're doing this, uh, and what we see as the key uh, keys to success. Uh, we'll talk about the features and the capabilities of the UDP 7000 uh, uh, series appliance. Uh, you'll see that we have essentially three uh, basic models with a couple of uh, variations, and I really want to talk to you about that in detail. Uh, I'll provide you some highlights of the specs as well because, hey, this is hardware. This is uh, uh, something that really uh, is important to cover. And we'll have uh, government technologies telling us more about their experience uh, trying the uh, uh, better of the appliance. So we are announcing this product today. Uh, we will have this product available in uh, early March. Uh, so in uh, early March time frame, we'll be shipping this product. And uh, you can call us now if you want to uh, place orders. We're ready, uh, ready for business. So a very exciting time again for for us. Uh, you know, ArcServe has been independent for six months or so, and 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 we've uh, we've worked very hard with uh, the products team not only to give you an update of UDP in the past uh, past couple of months, but also to create this solution uh, to um, really provide more options. Uh, for our end users and for our partners uh, to build some great data protection infrastructures. So let's uh, get into uh, the market a little bit. And some of you may ask yourselves, okay, so why are you doing an appliance? And of course, there is uh, a lot of, of uh, there are lots of good reasons for that. Number one, we see that it's a great adjacent market to our core business. You know, we're in a software business. We we're a sales and marketing company, but we're a software company, and it makes perfect sense that we'd go uh, expand our routes to market. Uh, and provide an appliance. There is a, a lot of demand uh, for it, and uh, we think this is going to be, uh, again, uh, an, an option that we can uh, provide to our customers and partners so that they have more options to deploy powerful, simple, uh, and affordable data protection solutions that run UDP. 
So what's interesting, though, and it's very important to understand that so that you understand what we've created and what we're really changing the game here, is the fact that typically when you think about an appliance, you think about really what I call the retrofitted software and hardware bundled together and, okay, let's put a sticker on that and call it a backup appliance. Well, there's a lot more than meets the eye. Uh, our UDP technology was designed really for, uh, uh, for, for an appliance type of model. It does extremely well on traditional server deployments, uh, but it's also great on the appliances as you'll see in a minute. Uh, the other thing is when you think about uh, appliances when it comes to data protection, so there is the DDoP appliance, and, and these have been um, in the market for a while. I think they've, they've really been a great band-aid uh, to a, a fundamental problem, which was uh, the explosion of backup data and the storage requirements that were becoming impossible to manage. But there's a better way today to do deduplication. So uh, as you look at this appliance, the UDP appliance, you'll see that uh, we provide also a great solution for this use case, which is that of uh, deduplication appliance. But there's more. Uh, there is an emergence of uh, new types of appliances that we see in the market today, and we also provide a, a great solution with U the UDP appliance. So in many ways, it's an all-in-one solution, uh, and it runs the powerful uh, uh, UDP technology. And, you know, we understand the market. We know that uh, price is important. We know that cost is important. So uh, we've created uh, a solution that is extremely well positioned, we believe, and, uh, and we certainly hope that uh, uh, you will agree with us. So uh, let's get into a little bit more about the market, and I just want to uh, talk here about uh, the views of uh, a, an analyst firm called ESG. I'm sure you, you know them. They're well known. They've been around for a long time, and they've done a lot of, of work and, and research on the data protection market. And uh, their view, and, and this is uh, the view of Jason Buffington, who is um, an analyst uh, focused on the data protection market at ESG, their view is, as I was explaining, that the traditional uh, type of appliances are really being now uh, complemented, uh, if not replaced to some extent, by other offerings. And it turns out that our ARCs of UDP uh, appliance not only fits the backup appliance requirements, of course, you're going to use it to protect your data, but it's also because of its built-in replication, its built-in uh, virtual standby capabilities, a great failover uh, and BCDR type of solution. Uh, that's very important and very powerful. Gives you a lot more agility, uh, but more importantly, also allows you to connect to the cloud. So if you're in a hybrid deployment or you want to put some of your data in the cloud, we have all the connectors built in and this appliance uh, will even take this uh, to the next level. The other thing is, with the UDP technology, if uh, you're not familiar with it, we have also, in addition to built-in uh, availability features and built-in replication, we have global source-side deduplication. That makes it a great deduplication appliance as well. Now, it's not the traditional one. It's not a target appliance, target dedupe appliance, uh, but it's also something that, that we can talk about in more details later. The point is that what you have here is a great solution that can really cover a wide variety of use cases, which very likely you are in need of today or will be in need of soon simply because we still are facing this explosion of data. We still need to improve uh, the data protection infrastructure, uh, and this needs to be done uh, with a, a very complete feature set. So uh, with, with this in mind, let's talk a little bit about the appliance, and let me introduce you to it. And there are some very, very uh, important things that we're uh, innovating with here. First of all, we are adding to the uh, UI of UDP, which was already uh, very easy to use. We're adding for this appliance a uh, wizard that allows you to really set up uh, the system uh, very easily. Our objective, our design point, was to have you uh, essentially up and running with your first backup in 15 minutes or so. Now, uh, we'll hear more from uh, uh, from Doberman Technologies, uh, and, and you'll see that uh, uh, there is definitely some uh, fantastic uh, opportunity here to be very efficient uh, with, with this uh, wizard and, and to get things done very quickly. More than more, more than over. Uh, Beyond just the, uh, the GUI and the wizard, we've also added uh, some, some new capabilities in terms of reporting and, and a great dashboard 
that gives you uh, a view of the environment of what's going on with your data protection. Uh, again, a very powerful tool to make you uh, a lot more efficient as an end user and understand uh, what's going on in the environment. Let's talk a little bit about uh, about what the uh, appliance uh, is and has. So we have, first of all, as, as you rem some of you may will remember, uh, UDP was designed with uh, because of its global deduplication with the the concept that we would definitely extend traditional memory with SSDs in order to optimize performance of global deduplication. So uh, by design, we include SSDs in our, in our design uh, from a software perspective. And of course, in the appliance, you will see that each of the appliance models that we uh, are going to be shipping includes an SSD layer. And that's a very important fact because uh, it's definitely a differentiator. It's not an afterthought. It's something that comes by design. Uh, I will cover the capacities because there is uh, always a lot more that meets the eye when uh, vendors talk about capacity. But just so that we'll have three models in terms of sizes and, and a couple of variations, and we can target environments ranging from zero to over 20 terabytes in source data. And that's because of our great and very efficient uh, source side deduplication. In this appliance, we have all of the capabilities that UDP um, includes. So uh, you get the same feature function set. As a matter of fact, it is totally interoperable with a UDP environment. So if you have a traditional deployment of UDP today and you think, well, wouldn't, wouldn't it be great if I could have an appliance in a couple of locations, for example, no problem. We fit into the UDP schema because it's UDP. So we're not forcing you into one uh, form factor, we allow you to really deploy the technology as you see fit for your requirements. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about, uh, you know, what, what we have from a functionality perspective. So as you know, first of all, UDP uh, is a very complete solution. Uh, it has a, a great uh, number of capabilities that you can access through a very simple and easy to use GUI. Really, when you think about it, UDP is like an SLA dial. It allows you to create data protection plans uh, for your environment that are really customized to the service level agreements that, that you want to have for certain applications. So critical apps will be protected uh, very likely better than less critical applications or systems. Uh, we provide a full uh, set of features uh, with, as I talked about earlier, global deduplication, uh, the fact that we support uh, virtual environments uh, in a very, very complete way, as well as physical environments, uh, which is certainly something that allows you to have just one solution for all of your platforms. Um, we have optimized uh, replication uh, from a one perspective and provide replication built in. And that's another great differentiator for our solution. Uh, and we support a wide variety of platforms uh, and applications that you will typically run in your environment. Uh, whether we're talking about Exchange or SQL, uh, uh, or you can see many other uh, environments are listed here. So many, many ways to protect your environment, but more importantly, very simple ways to restore uh, your data, whether you want to restore a file or uh, a number of files or a whole system. So we've really simplified and automated a lot of the complex mechanisms behind restoring systems and data. Uh, this makes it, again, a very, very easy-to-use software. So combined with the appliance form factor and what we've done with this solution, you really have uh, a very uh, powerful solution that you can deploy, again, uh, in many different ways. So let's talk a little bit about data deduplication, and let's talk about performance and efficiency. One of the things that is very important to us in terms of technology and to you as an end user or a partner selling our solution is the fact that we have global source side deduplication. What that means is that we can protect a lot of source data uh, without necessarily having to send all of that data over the wire uh, to the target appliance. Uh, we actually dedupe data at the source, and we do this in a way that's very efficient, so it doesn't uh, bug down your nodes or your, your, the systems you're deduping because all of the workload, all of the, the real 
hard work happens on the appliance or the server. So fundamentally, we can achieve great compression or great reduction of data that way because once we've backed up, say, uh, your, your hypervisor environment or hypervisor OS, we don't need to back it up again. We have that data already. We'll just understand that the next system has it too, but we won't need to transfer that data over and over again. The same applies to uh, files and, uh, and many other um, types of data. So uh, what you're seeing here on the screen is actually a, a screenshot from, from a dashboard from, from a real customer. Uh, we, we've, we've been extremely successful with EDP. Thank you so much for supporting this product. I mean, it's, it's been sold in, in, uh, in, in thousands in the past few uh, months. Uh, we've introduced last year in May, and we have many, many customers, existing Archive customers, new customers. Uh, and what I can tell you is that the results we're seeing in terms of the efficiency of the deduplication are just real. They're here. You can take a look at these. And this will... Uh, is something that you need to just keep in mind as we go through the discussion about the models and capacities um, and how uh, this uh, really makes, uh, has a tremendous amount of impact on how much data you can protect with the UDP appliances. So, again, this is real data. Um, we're not making this up. This is not a marketing slide. This is what we see uh, every day uh, in the field. So lots of, uh, lots of efficiencies here. So, Understanding data growth is very important. Even if you have great data duplication, capacities on any appliance, and certainly on our appliance, are finite, which means that you need to really understand your data growth patterns. So, you know, we hear a lot of vendors talk about uh, the deduplication and how great it is and et cetera, et cetera. And, and some of these claims may not be very realistic. What we've done is we have armed uh, ourselves and our field and our partners with a great uh, storage estimator. Uh, I believe this will be made available also on our um, website very shortly. So you can really go and figure and plan how much storage you're going to need uh, in terms of uh, UDP protected um, data or data store. The point being is that in some cases uh, you will keep a lot of retention points, and that's the way you, if that's the way you want to do this, that's fantastic. No problem. We understand that. However, you have to understand that, you know, the more retention points you keep uh, or restore points, uh, uh, the more space you're going to use. And it's just a matter of understanding it. So what we want to do is make sure we set the right expectations with you, our end users, and, and, and through you, our partners, so that uh, we set the right expectation and we uh, sell and provide the right solution and the right capacity. Uh, to, uh, to our end users. So just know that um, it's available. We have great tools, uh, and uh, we want to absolutely make sure that uh, your expectations are met and exceeded with the UDP technology. Let's talk about some deployment scenarios. Uh, and I apologize for uh, this slide that uh, should be a build, but it's just easier to show it uh, already built up uh, on, on this platform here today. Uh, let me start at the top right where it says primary site. Uh, uh, there are so many things you can do with a UDP appliance. Uh, of course, you can, as I said, mix and match with a traditional UDP software deployment. But one of the things that we believe will resonate with many customers is the fact that you can use it as your, truly as your backup system uh, in, uh, in one site. Uh, so whether you're backing up physical systems, desktops, laptops, um, virtual environments, uh, we can take care of that with the UDP appliance. It's really a set and, for, and forget system. Uh, you get it running, it's going to be allow you to start your backups uh, in the first 15 or 20 minutes of you deploying it. And it's got some great options. Depending on the model, you can also uh, benefit from a tape out option. So if you have tapes in your environment or you want to send tapes um, to for long-term retention to a third-party provider, uh, the appliance allows you to do that. So, again, lots of experience in that space and a great system that you can have if you have one site, you want to protect it with an easy system. Maybe you don't have all of the IT staff to, to support a, a, a more complex backup environment. This is the product for you. And, by the way, it still retains all of the capabilities of UDP and the powerful features that we offer. Now, you could also be in a situation, as we look at the remote office or branch office uh, quadrant, where you have a centralized site and you have a number of subsidiaries, number of branch offices, and you really want to make sure that not only you capture 
uh, data there, but also what you can do with the UDP appliance is share uh, through the global deduplication all of the data, so uh, you never back up data twice, and you can replicate very easily because it's built in. You can replicate between the sites. Uh, that gives you a great way to provide for disaster recovery capabilities in your branch offices, uh, as for example, uh, and you can also uh, manage through our management console uh, all of these appliances and, and, and nodes in your environment uh, from a centralized point. Now, you could also be in a situation where you uh, are or want to work with a managed service provider. They're your, uh, they do your, the backups for you. Uh, and it's funny that we should have this use case here. You'll hear a little more from, uh, from government technologies in a minute. Uh, you'll see how uh, in their business, uh, that's what they do. So you could easily have someone take care of your data, uh, drop an appliance in your environment, uh, allowing you to protect the data, send it to their, uh, to the, the service provider's data center, where they can not only take care of your data, protect your data, but also, uh, as needed, help you recover it uh, and provide that service for you. So uh, that's, that's another use case. And, of course, we have uh, here uh, with UDP and with the appliance the ability to uh, protect your data uh, in a public or private cloud. It's available today, uh, but it's going to get better. Uh, you should uh, log in again in the uh, spring time frame. We'll have another announcement for you. We'll talk more about that later. But we are going to work on additional services for you uh, that are cloud-based, cloud-related, and are so branded. Just know that today with UDP and the appliance, you can go leverage your Amazon, your Azure. You, you know, you can see the list here. Uh, if you want to have a hybrid type of data protection infrastructure and send some data off to the cloud or recover from the cloud. So, Again, a very powerful appliance that is literally uh, a cloud gateway, as it is a backup appliance, a dedupe appliance, and a BCDR appliance. Let's talk about models and pricing. This is the slide I know you've been waiting for, so uh, let's go ahead and cover this. Uh, first of all, I want to walk you through the models at the top. You can see uh, they are the 7100, 7200, and 7300. Uh, there is a variation. Some of them have the V next to them, and let me explain what that is. Uh, we have great technology in UDP, and one of the things we do extremely well is leverage virtual standby capabilities and allow you to run essentially virtual standby machines on the appliance. Our V models include three virtual standby machines. Your mileage may vary. You could actually maybe even have more. It depends on the size of the machines. But we want to uh, be conservative here and, and, and set the expectations accordingly and, and, and make sure there's no surprise. So we believe that very comfortably three virtual standby machines will be can be hosted on those V models. They include extra memory, a different CPU to be able to perform these functions and keep the performance of the data protection environment uh, at the highest possible level. So that's why you see a price difference, and that's why you see uh, a model difference. So this is a great advantage. Um, uh, really gives you built in this this idea of having a, a near availability type of solution. Should anything come up with one of the key systems you've pro you've protected, uh, you can have a virtual machine on standby, ready to go, ready to recover the last snapshot, last backup, uh, and and getting you back on your feet in a matter of minutes. In many environments, you don't have the luxury of waiting an hour or more. Uh, it's about minutes, and we can do that with the Z. Uh, built in, the virtual standby built in. Now let's talk about the capacities. There's a lot, again, of noise around capacity in the industry and what's raw versus usable versus what it really means for me. So let me net it out for you. Raw storage capacity is what it is. It's pretty self-explanatory. We have three models, three, six, and nine. However, depending on the technology that is used on appliance, on an appliance, you will have more or less usable backup capacity, that is, storage capacity that you can put backup data on after you've paid your dues, meaning after you've used up some storage capacity for software or other services. In our case, you can see that the usable backup capacity is very close to the raw because we, uh, we have a very uh, a small footprint and, and we need a little space for the software services. And I think that makes, that makes perfect sense. It's just a, a, a very low number, as you can see. What's more interesting is how much can you really protect with that capacity that you have on the system? That's really the question that matters, right? Remember, with the global source size deduplication, what we can do is literally squeeze uh, 
three times or sometimes more the capacity that we, we have on the, on the system into it. So, uh, for example, on the three terabyte system, we could have an eight terabyte source environment. Now, again, I will go back to the, the previous conversation we had about understand your data growth, understand your data. Your mileage will vary. Um, we will help you figure it out, and, and there may be, you know, different scenarios depending on the type of data you have. But based on our experience, based on our technology, based on what we've seen, we feel very comfortable with these numbers, which means that, for example, a 7200 can protect up to 17 terabyte source data. Again, depending on the retention schema, depending on the type of data and that you have in your environment. Um, but this is very powerful because that means you can really take care uh, of uh, a, a pretty uh, big amount of source data. Uh, thank, thanks to the dedupe in place, uh, you can really squeeze that into a, a much uh, lower, smaller footprint on, uh, from a storage standpoint. So when you hear other vendors talk about, hey, my system is X amount of, of terabytes or whatever the case is, uh, look closely. How much do you really need to do that dedupe, especially for those vendors that do target dedupe? We've seen vendors that have to essentially use up half of their raw storage capacity just to be able to do dedupe. We don't have this to do this because of the fact that we do it source side. Anyway, you have the information here. There's a great spec sheet uh, on our website. So uh, go to the arcsof.com website, look for the product section, the appliance uh, page, and you will find uh, uh, additional specifications uh, on uh, the various models we have. So 7100 uh, is the entry model. I'll give you a little more details about it, 7200, 7300, and the V for virtual standby machines uh, on appliance. Just built in, nothing else to license for, nothing else to pay. Uh, this is backup as much as you can on the appliance. There is no extra license, licensing required when, once you've got the appliance, as long as there is capacity on the appliance to, uh, to host uh, the backup dedupe data, uh, you can keep going. As I look at the specifications, and this is the obligatory eye chart when uh, you sell appliances, uh, and again, it's available on the website, please uh, uh, note that there are some slight variations depending on the models. Uh, we have specifically for the 7200 and 7300 the option to have a tape out uh, capabilities. You can connect the tape system to it. Uh, the 7100 does not offer it. And then in terms of hard drives, uh, we use uh, SATA. RAID 1 for the 7100, and we use um, SAS RAID 5 uh, for 7200. This is based on, on your feedback, based on our research, uh, and uh, designed to meet uh, the requirements of, uh, of the markets and the requirements we've heard from our customers and prospects. Uh, you can also see uh, the various uh, uh, details of power and weights and, and specifications there. So, uh, again, a lot of detail in, in this uh, chart that um, you can certainly take a look at at your leisure, it's an easy download on the arcserve.com website. So to summarize, and before we go into a, a very exciting part of the of the webcast, um, you know the 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 UDP 7000 appliance has a lot of differentiation when you compare it to other solutions out there. Uh, number one, it's easy to set up. Uh, it's got a very efficient uh, deduplication uh, capability that uh, is uh, really uh, amplified in, uh, through the use of SSDs, which are built in the, uh, the appliance. So, again, this is by design. This is not an afterthought like uh, we've seen other vendors do. Uh, we have full support for virtualized environments, uh, lots and lots of capabilities, uh, really top of the – uh, of the crowd on this one, so please uh, take a close look at our support matrix. We have built-in replication with uh, efficiency built-in for one type of, uh, of uh, network. So really, it's a great solution for uh, either cross-protecting two sites or for going to a backup site or for working with a managed service provider who will uh, host your data and, and help you in, in case of trouble, in times of trouble. The on appliance virtual standby capability, three virtual standby machines, that's a great advantage. It's more than the competition, uh, and we think this is a great feature to really give you a much better ability to be back on your feet should anything happen. Uh, I talked about the off-site options and the fact that we can also uh, help you connect to your cloud provider. Uh, 
as well as replicate data from branch offices or to other sites. So lots of permutations and combinations that really should allow you uh, to fit your requirements from a data protection standpoint. And no additional licenses are required um, in, an ARC, in an ARC serve UDP software deployment. So again, perfect scenario would be if you decide, if you have a number of branch offices, for example, you want to drop in an appliance, uh, it will fit right into the UDP backup schema. Nothing else is needed. So uh, I know there are a number of questions. I can see that I'm uh, growing by the minute, and I'll take care of those at the end of the presentation, uh, but just know that we are uh, keeping an eye on them. So uh, at this time, I would like to uh, introduce Ian Richardson. He is the uh, founder and CEO of Doberman Technologies. Uh, so, Ian, I'll, I'll turn it over to you, and, um, and I think we'll have a little chat about your experience. But please, tell us a little more about yourself and, and about your business. Hey, Christoph. Thanks for uh, the introduction, uh, and thank you all for being on the webinar today. I've been in uh, IT for 11 years and uh, hold a multitude of industry certs from Microsoft and Cisco, and I got started in disaster recovery really about year number two. I had a production environment completely fail uh, based off of a different product line, and so it's been kind of a passion of mine for the past uh, 11, 12 years now, uh, making sure that I can do absolute recovery for my client base. We can go to the next slide, please. And uh, Doberman is my firm. We founded in 2005, and we are an IT managed solution provider. Uh, MSPs are kind of the wave of the future, in my opinion. We focus on trying to bring an enterprise-grade IT department to the small business market. We define that as about 150 seats or less, and our specialization is in HIPAA compliance. For those of you who aren't familiar, HIPAA is a federal regulation about privacy and portability of information, and one of the key requirements in that federal code is you must be able to recover data, and the key word being must. And that's really what's driven our, uh, our practice at Dilberman. For about the past four to five years, we've been experimenting again and again and again with software solutions before we came across ArcServe about two years ago, and we haven't looked anywhere else since. Our primary challenges day-to-day -day is ensuring that all of our clients have secure, reliable, and absolute 100% business continuity in their day-to-day -day operations. And can uh, go to the next slide? Sure. So, Ian, before we uh, go into, uh, into the, the discussion of the appliance, can you maybe share um, a couple of uh, stories from the trenches uh, that, that you've seen and, and how you've been using UDP as, as, as software um, uh, in the past uh, past few months? Oh, sure, sure. So when we, we got the announcement about UDP last year, um, we actually flew down to Florida for the, uh, for the grand announcement, and when we uh, when we heard about it, I was extremely excited. We came from the D to D line, and UDP has changed the way that we're able to operate as a solution provider. So we use UDP everywhere, including our own data center. And the number one aspect of it is the software is so smooth for setup and recovery. We're able to use interns for critical disasters. I've had a guy on his second week go do a BMR successfully, and you you just oh. can't say that with uh, with some of the other products out there. Okay, so new guy, two weeks in the job, does a BMR with UDP. Well, that's pretty impressive. Um, uh, excellent. That's that's really uh, great news. I know the team. I can tell you, the product teams have have spent a lot of time. Uh, perfecting this capability, so it's, it's great to hear that it's working for you. So, uh, yeah, let's let's move on to to your experience with the uh, the appliance. And uh, you know, my first question is really okay. You you essentially are uh, uh, an MSP. You uh, put together uh, software and hardware and lots of uh, services for your partners. Why use an appliance in your business? Why 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 would it make sense? Well, again, kind of going to me picking on interns, it's about scalability. So 
we've uh, we've done a lot of different endeavors when it comes to trying to effectively scale out business continuity solutions. And when we got the appliance, we were able to get it up and running in a production site during production in about 30, 45 minutes. And that's from getting the box into the building, into the rack, fully up to date on their network, and the agent deployed everywhere in the plan created. And then all we were waiting for was uh, to do the first production backup post hours just so that uh, we wouldn't have any sort of performance hit during that initial big full backup. And the space savings even over just properly configured D2D were night and day because this was, this was an existing client and we said, hey, we're going we're gonna to upgrade you. We're going to put in this new appliance. It's got these neat things we can do. Let's go ahead and try to do that. So being able to go out there and have someone who has little to no experience with backup technologies, little to no experience with server technologies, just a tier one desktop type of guy and say, hey, go roll this out. It's a project that makes them feel good and accomplishes something so valuable. And it, it's just scalability, Christoph. You know, we're bringing on three to four sites every month. I don't, I don't have that type of time to build out my own appliances and image and install and test and stress test versus just grab something out of the box hour later move on with my day. Wow, perfect. Yeah, that sounds great. So it's, it sounds like your interns are going to get busy with the appliance, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, not too busy. It's only an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's that's many customers in a day. Um, so t tell me a little bit more about your um, overall experience. Uh, you were part of the – so for full disclosure, you were part of the, the better program. We uh, – sent you an appliance and uh, essentially um, had someone uh, observe, uh, or not even actually, what, what you did. I think you did it yourself without even us being there. So tell us about your experience and uh, specifically uh, maybe, you know, what you thought of the wizard and, and some of the features that you've, uh, you've identified on the appliance. Absolutely. So we got, we got the appliance and we uh, – we recorded our setup. We were on a call with uh, with one of our technical principal consultants over there that we know very well, and it went about as smooth as you could hope for a beta program to go. It came up just fine, deployed the agents fine, detected old uh, old versions of D2D and did successful upgrades fine. The wizard was easy to use, so it, it, it's. Through that experience, uh, it, being able to have my hands on this and being able to have an intern with me and say, okay, intern, you're going to drive this. I'm here to bail you out. But being able to walk through this appliance and, and see this come all together in the, in, the, in the span of just a simple hour was really the, the determining factor for me and how we're going to pursue business continuity for the remainder of our clients and a after this call everyone can kind of wait on hold after me because I'm the first one in the sales queue. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh well, this is great. Um and and Ian, do you have any um so we have on this on this call today we have um combination of end users, we have some partners, we have uh essentially people with with Businesses, businesses just like yours. So what would be your recommendations for end users and maybe for some of our uh, partners uh, who are considering the appliance? Sure. So with end users, what's really nice about the appliance is the fact that there's going to be a maintenance plan. So the appliance is easy to set up. It's easy to get reporting on. It's easy to get metrics. Is this working? Or am I being backed up? Am I safe? So you can get this installed with very little technical help, but the goal is, is that if you get into a situation and you're panicked because you have had a disaster and your server is down and you suddenly forgot everything, if you're on one of the maintenance plans, you can pick up the phone or you can go to a website and someone can walk you through what you need to do to stage yourself up through virtual standby or what you need to do to get a bare metal recovery started up so you're not out in the woods. And on the other end of the coin, for the partners, this is so, so easy to deploy and make an effective PC or managed service pra practice for 
years, we were using backups and business continuity as a loss leader. We were not making money. We were losing money on the active management. We were losing money on the deployments. And we were losing money month to month. But we had to do it because if someone if someone goes down and has data loss on your watch, you're the one foot in the bill no matter what you try to say about any sort of situation. So having something that's very rapidly deployed, very technically non-complicated, you don't have to tie up your Tier 3 engineers with it. You can have general help desk people be managing the backups day to day, be deploying new backups to new servers, be deploying the appliances themselves. You don't have to have any high-level, high-dollar resources dedicated to it. It becomes a no-brainer when it comes to the uh when it comes to the return on investment. Well thank you and that's definitely uh yeah uh, money straight in the bank and, and, and great margins right there. So uh very pleased to hear that that uh this is something you'll be considering for the future. Uh, so I'm sure we'll get some questions so we'll uh reserve them or save them for a, a few minutes from now at the end of this presentation. Thank you so much for uh for your uh, your feedback, for your um uh, the details on your experience, and um, certainly we uh, uh, we're very pleased that uh, that you're pleased. So thank you very much, Ian, again. Absolutely. So Ian mentioned the uh, support, and I just have a couple of uh, quick final slides to talk about the support we have uh, in place here for you, and, and the type of programs we uh, are going to offer with the UDP 7000 applied. So uh, there is a warranty um, uh, on on the system, so three years, uh, and there are some uh, some extended warranty options. This is hardware, so for some of you who know us as a software company, well, of course we uh, have uh, here all of the uh, you know, uh, support uh, and maintenance programs adapted to hardware. Uh, so just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. We have certainly spent um, a lot of time planning for these, and, and we want to make sure that we uh, satisfy our, our customers as they uh, and partners as they deploy the system should anything come up. Um, you can see here the details on the slides. I'm not going to go into a lot of details uh, at this point. Uh, just know that we, we have invested resources and, and we have uh, the right uh, type of uh, focus uh, here to make sure that should anything come up, uh, we'll be uh, right there for you. And what we have is a couple of options for you. Um, uh, we we provide uh, two options, a gold maintenance and a platinum maintenance uh, program. So the gold maintenance gives you uh, essentially next business day on-site hardware support. I uh, just want to point out, again, at this point I'm talking about um, the uh, North American uh, uh, territory here. This is uh, this appliance is um, available first uh, in North America. So for other uh, uh, geos, uh, we'll have separate uh, release dates, and we'll keep you informed. Uh, and of course, it's plan on maintenance, uh, which uh, gives you a, a, a four-hour window here for um, uh, hardware. Uh, uh, essentially uh, on-site hardware support and uh, 24 by 7 uh, so uh, support here so parts can come to you in four hours and 24 by 7 should you uh, have to be on the call uh, in the middle of the night which we certainly hope you won't have to so uh, in terms of uh, um, software upgrades these come with the maintenance packages so uh, of course access to uh, uh, software support and software upgrades so uh, every time the next great version of UDP comes out, we will have some uh, uh, upgrade capabilities and, and uh, mechanisms for you uh, for the appliance. So for more details, as you uh, engage with uh, with us, uh, just, just don't hesitate. Ask for um, more specific details on the SKUs and, and, and the cost for these programs. Uh, but just know that they are uh, very important. Uh, they're available, and we certainly want you to leverage them. So, uh, in summary, and before we go into the Q&A session, uh, I just wanted to remind you that the UDP 7000 is, is announced today, is available uh, in the March time frame. Uh, we will have it. Uh, we're ready to take orders, uh, so if you want to call us and, and, and reserve your appliance, please go ahead. Uh, we are ready to uh, to help you. Uh, we have a great product. We have a solution that only fits not only fits the traditional backup appliance model, but really does a lot more. 
Uh, it's uh, a, a connector, a gateway connector to the cloud. Uh, it is a BCDR solution and, and appliance because of the replication and uh, great uh, virtual standby capabilities that it brings uh, to the table. Uh, it's also a dedupe appliance because, by definition, in its nature, by design, UDP has global source-side dedupe, which makes it a very, very efficient solution. So lots of support for virtualization, virtualized environments. Again, um, please uh, take a look at the capabilities we offer. Uh, uh, we have uh, one of the best uh, uh, set of features available in the market today. Uh, great efficiency in terms of deduplication, replication over a wide area network, uh, and the ability for you, because of this built-in replication, to really uh, configure and design an environment that allows you to take data uh, and replicate it to uh, recovery sites or get some data from remote sites into your data center or branch offices, whatever the case may be. So lots of options. A great new uh, setup uh, wizard uh, that complements the existing GUI. Uh, a new UDP admin dashboard to let you know what's going on uh, with your backup environment. And you've heard it from uh, from Ian Richardson today. Uh, this is true. This is real. And uh, this is something that gives you a ton of uh, ease of use and ease of deployment. So uh, at this point, uh, Gina, I'd like to turn it back over to you for a minute. OK. Thank you, Christoph and Ian. As we move into this Q&A session, please feel free to continue submitting your questions via the Ask a Question tab that's at the top of your screen. Thank you, Gina. So we have a, a ton of questions. Um, let me start with a few. Can you upgrade from 7200 to 7900 V? So OK, so uh, at this point, no, there is no field upgrade uh, type of package or, or kit, you buy a 7200 or you buy a 7200V, um, the V model has a, a different, um, uh, has more memory and a, a different processor. So uh, essentially, you have to make the decision before you purchase the system whether you want a virtual standby uh, on, uh, option on it. So that was a good question. Let me look. Um, can you back up desktops to the appliance as well? Yes, absolutely. And I'm going to try to take uh, as many questions as I can um, and, and keep us uh, on time here. How do you scale to support customers with hundreds of terabytes? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, I have a couple of answers. Number one, we're positioning this solution for environments uh, up to about 25, 26 terabytes, depending on the model you use. If you use a 7300 source data, uh, we think uh, – comfortably 25 to 6 terabytes um, uh, we can cover. Now, it depends how you set up your environment. Uh, if you have multiple sites that will ha have their own um, uh, data protection schema and their own UDP appliance without necessarily sharing into uh, the global deduplication across all of these sites, you could only multiply those systems. Uh, the other thing is we are just getting started. So for the, very, the larger environments, uh, in the future, in the next few quarters, you will see us come out with larger systems, systems that can handle larger environments, uh, like mid-market type of, uh, uh, of uh, environments or small enterprise. So we're not there today, uh, but we will be in the future. So uh, let me keep looking. I apologize. I'm looking at the questions as they come in. Um, so. I want to be clear, um, this is for North America, so this is North America only at this point. Uh, where can I buy the points? Well, that's an easy one. You can um, contact us, uh, and we will uh, essentially uh, work with you to determine um, with uh, which of our partners to work uh, and to uh, get the appliance into your environment. Who makes the hardware? That's a good question. I, I'm, so we, we work with a partner, a uh, third-party company uh, that is very experienced uh, in uh, making um, uh, appliances and these type of systems and uh, have 
uh, not only all of the mechanisms in place, but I've done this for many, many, many years, and will also be a great global partner as we roll this out into other geos. Uh, we um, are not going to disclose the name today, but just know that they are uh, very, very reliable. They've been a fantastic partner to work with, and uh, uh, we, we are not making the hardware ourselves, if that's the question you're asking. We're a software company, and we've observed uh, and we've seen um, what can happen when uh, you, you go into a business and that's not your core business. The, 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 the core business is software, and we work with a great partner for the hardware that is helping us with all of the aspects, uh, logistics, uh, parts, et cetera, and, and system design associated with, uh, with the hardware component here. Um, is there a demo program? Yes, there is a try and buy program, absolutely. So please get in touch with um, your ArcServe partner or with us, and we'll route you to the right, uh, guide you to the right uh, uh, partner. Uh, we will have a try and buy program, so uh, please uh, engage with us. Uh, there are some uh, uh, some requirements uh, that the sales team can can discuss with you, but we uh, uh, we will be making the uh, appliance available uh, on a try and buy basis, absolutely. So, okay, so a question about, a uh, couple of questions actually, well, two or three questions about competition. All right, so how do we compare to other vendors? So let, let, let's um, let's talk about that. We uh, believe we have a, a very complete set of features. We are more complete than other vendors that you will see out there in terms of feature set. Um, uh, you know, the, if you look at uh, competitors uh, for us, such as uh, Dell, Unitrans, uh, and, and, you know, this, we believe we have more features to offer, uh, more capabilities, more automation in terms of recovery, for example, uh, great support for platforms. Uh, I think what you're seeing here is the next generation of data protection appliances, and we have, uh, I think, something that will, uh, that will be a lot um, easier to deploy than many other uh, solutions out there. What we've done for you um, is we've provided some view on our capabilities and how we compare on our website. So if you go to rsof.com, uh, in the competitive section, you will see there's a section on appliance that we have just updated and uploaded that gives you a very simple table with uh, how we compare ourselves based on our analysis, which is itself based on uh, hundreds of parameters we've uh, researched and studied to build our product. Uh, so you'll see how we compare with uh, the vendor of, of your choice. There is a, it's a first selection. We'll probably be adding a few more as we move forward, but just know that we have um, some solution that is, uh, in terms of feature functions, we believe, uh, more complete than uh, other vendors here today in the uh, SMB and uh, the end of the mid-market space. If you, okay, well, that's a good one. Uh, if we don't currently have UDP software, would we have to buy that first, or is it included in the price of the appliance? Yes, uh, I may have covered this question, actually, in the course of the presentation, but just to reiterate, uh, this is uh, you, it's all included. So you, when you purchase the appliance, you can uh, set it up in your environment uh, and back up as many nodes and as much data as the appliance will hold, and that's um, something we can help you figure out with our uh, storage calculate, calculator, and uh, you can do that through uh, our partners as well. So no additional licensing required. You buy the appliance, it's, uh, it's all you need. Okay, and I think we'll take, um, we'll take maybe another one uh, real quick. How do I get the calculator? Well, somebody was uh, interested in it. Uh, so the calculator will be um, made available to our pre-sales and team and to our partners uh, as they engage with you. Uh, if you're an end user in terms of, uh, you know, sizing up the environment, we'll also, I believe, we'll have this available very soon on our website. So you, you'll have uh, the ability to input some of the parameters that uh, would help us then determine uh, the right type of storage requirements and therefore the right type of appliance model or, or whether you're doing this in the software deployment, uh, same, same uh, calculator would, would apply uh, if you're going to build your own server and storage uh, infrastructure yourself. Um, 
Okay, so how much is each unit? How much uh, for support? Twenty-four. Okay, so the I provided earlier in the presentation the price list. Um, uh, so that's uh, that was that was mentioned. Please engage with us for details on the SKUs, depending on your model and the car, the price. The list price uh, is available there, and there's also um, uh, there are SKUs for support as well. Uh, the best way to answer this question is uh, to please go ahead and. And go back to the replay, you'll see the list price for the base models. But again, if you have more specific questions in terms of support and the various options we have there for maintenance, uh, please engage with our ARCHIF partners or call us directly and we'll help you out and route you to the right people to, to give you the details you need. But uh, again, don't hesitate. Um, we, we certainly are um, uh, ready for you uh, anytime. Um, I think that's all I have time for at this point. Um, there are a few other questions that I haven't answered, and um, I'd like to uh, uh, make sure that we, we do through um, FAQs uh, and documents like this. So please stay tuned. We'll be adding some collateral uh, and some documents on our website. We will also communicate to uh, through our partners uh, some of these uh, FAQs, so uh, there will be um, uh, lots, of, uh, lots of details there. Any question you may have regarding uh, with whom to work, uh, in, ter in terms of Oxford partners, again, call us. We'll route you to the right partner. Uh, we're certainly, uh, uh, you know, uh, very, very committed to our partner our channel. We're one hundred percent channel, so uh, uh, but we're more than happy to uh, uh, get you on the phone and, and help you uh, uh, again guide you to the right person. Uh, I would like at this stage uh, to uh, thank Ian again for his fantastic uh, contributions to this uh, webcast today. Thank you for all of your questions. Uh, many, many questions, too many for me to answer. Um, I think we have well over 60 questions. Uh, thank you for attending this webcast. It will be available on replay, and I'm going to turn it over uh, to uh, uh, Gina to give you uh, all of those details. Yes, thank you, Christoph. Before signing out, please remember to rate this webcast and send us your feedback by the rate button at the top of your screen. This webcast will be available on demand immediately after ending in case you missed anything, and these slides are now available for download on the ArcServe SlideShare channel. Thank you again for joining us, and we look forward to speaking with you again soon.